So, the other day, I saw some people in MBT's Discord server talking shit about Minefield Driller. And I've seen people talking shit about Minefield Driller before, saying it's a bad card, that it's the worst card in the deck, that I should cut it. So, today we're going to prove everyone wrong by playing a deck with three Minefield Driller. That's right, not one, but three. We're going to prove that this is the best card in the deck, that this is the card that makes KFC truly great. Come on, guys. Gotta have some respect for the Driller Boy. I mean, well, we're gonna show you. We're gonna prove it. So let's get into some matches with this deck, shall we? So first one, up here against Quick Draw Dandy Warrior, which against this more uh, Machina kind of deck is probably a difficult matchup, I think. So we have we open a really insane hand, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I hear I'm just like I'm gonna go for it, right? Because I got the limiter. So I'm just like in damage step will uh, limiter, but they fader us, so too bad. But we have the garden to like we should we should have flipped this to play around fader probably. It was kind of a dumb oversight. I figured we were just gonna win that turn probably, but eh, whatever. The garden's still gonna help us play around this Caius. And the driller is actually pretty good in this situation. In a lot of these games, I weirdly did feel like the deck was better when I drew driller. <laughs> and I'm not coping, I swear. The card is vaguely kind of legit in its own way. Even if I probably wouldn't play three and build a whole deck around it normally, but you know. So we play into Gores here, but it's not really a big deal. We got Limiter, Book of Moon. Uh, the reason we're playing Drill Synchron, by the way, is because of... Uh, you can, like, Rat with Garden up to go into Scrap Recycle or send it, and then Pop get it back to make a level 6. It's, like, not the greatest, but it's a cool little combo you can do. So here, I pop their Set Monster, which maybe I shouldn't have done because of the chance that it could be Sangan. And I know I'm just going to kill him with Limiter over the Gores next turn. Whereas I risk giving him some kind of play here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's not really going to matter. They're just going to die to the limiter removal right here. Yeah, limiter is such an insane Zaki kind of card. And we draw it again. <laughs> oh, that's rough. So he goes drill. Game two, I remember. We were like down bad, but some weird shit happened. I don't remember exactly what it was so they go two drills i decide to book one since i can kill the other with tragodia i think or at least force a back row it's kind of weird that they don't spend the book here to try to keep the drill alive i don't know if i'd have done that again they're not like dandy looping me for some reason and the decision to ram into Trigodia seemed really weird. I guess they thought they were just going to try and, like, steal the game with Vanity's Fiend, maybe, but... I don't know, it just seemed off to me. Um, anyway, here... We have, like, ways to out this Vanity's Fiend conceivably with the limiter removal and the brain control and stuff. So we go for damage step limiter um, to out the Vanity's Fiend, which is nice because we use it on the card trooper, so we get the draw. Fortunately, they draw ever off the top, so... They're going to get a nice little plus one there. Here, I'm like... I, like, don't summon Fortress on my next turn, I think. They, like, set the Space Typhoon. And I'm like, if that's a bottomless, I'm just going to lose the duel pretty much right there because I'm not going to be able to have any plays. Also, top-decking this Crow is a little mildly upsetting because they avarice last turn. <laughs> um, but anyway, I go in with Driller... Again, committing Driller to the field is, uh, it's pretty nice to have it as your normal summon in situations like this. Then again, I could see it being bad against certain decks, like more aggro stuff, so. Anyway, here, they go Drill. I crowed the Dandy so they can't kill me. Here, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure out if this works, because it's like, there was some weird ruling debate where people were arguing about whether things getting flipped face up in battles uh, in the battle phase count as them being face up when they're destroyed. It's like, for sure it works this way with Reborn Tengu, but I saw some judges talking about some old rulings where this was maybe not the case every time, so I don't really know. But 
I mean, my default assumption with, like, what makes sense is that this should count as it being face up on the field when it gets run over like this. Um, if it doesn't, that makes no sense. Um, but maybe that's the way it's ruled because it's a lot of weird old rulings. I don't know. But I kind of assume that it should work like Reborn Tengu. I guess it's possible I'm wrong. Maybe I should look it up just to be sure, but... Yeah, we draw another one. We just go for the Gear Dragon. And I don't bother summoning this here because it's like... doesn't really change it. If they have a single Book of Moon or something, they're still going to live. So... But they do not. So we get to pull out the win there. Second match. This one was like up against Battery Men. I would have gotten another one, but like... This was like my fourth or fifth match in a row, just trying to get a DB Rando to play a full match. I had like some guy who didn't know how like old field spells worked where you could set Gear Town over Gear Town and he just rage quit. And I had some other guy who was playing Dragon Turbo and then just like disconnected from the internet or something, so I left. Uh, it's frustrating trying to record. I should maybe just get, like, one of my teammates to play against me every time or something, huh? <laughs> but we're going to see if Battery Men can do anything. I have the degree here, so I don't fear the Torrential that I know he has. I'm thinking we could just kill. He had a Fader, though? Did I know about the Fader? No, I didn't. Okay. I did know about the Honest, though, and I played into it really badly here. I could have just won the game this turn if I attacked with the fortress first and then limiter so that was pretty dumb it's not gonna cost me though um we go ancient fairy dragon with drill synchron and yeah that's gonna be it don't even need limiter actually so we open a really solid hand in game number two here i mean this is crazy good got call of the haunted got garden got card trooper uh, here, I don't attack because I think it's Microcell, and attacking to Microcell was a massive feels bad. Uh, they Storm. I do a cool play here. I Chain Call the Haunted, and then Driller, Garden, and Call are all just going to get destroyed by the same Storm at the same time. So Driller should go off here. Again, I this is a weird thing where maybe there's some ruling thing I don't understand, but I'm pretty sure Driller should just go off there. I mean, the other one... Where Driller getting attacked face down, there's just no justification if that doesn't work that way. I mean, that's just absurd. Then again, there's a lot of rulings that are just absurd. Uh, so here I take a weird line where I go like Rat Ram with the Garden. Having the Battle Recruiters with the Garden I think is really nice. Uh, but we get Scrap Recycler to get a draw. And also send the Drill Synchron so if I can get it down under one of these or get rid of one of these tokens, I could maybe bring back Drill Synchron and do an Ancient Fairy Dragon or Black Rose play or something. But maybe I should have summoned Fortress here to get it down to two. Or get it down to one token. Because then next turn, maybe I could have summoned Ancient Fairy Dragon and just gone for game or something. I don't know. The way I played this game, too, um, made me feel like I just played it too slow. I feel like against a deck like Battery Men, where it's just like this sort of fragile combo deck that wants to draw their pieces, you shouldn't be giving them all this time to do that. Here, I could have used the, I could have pitched this to summon Fortress, which I probably should have done. At this point, for the rest of the game, we're just playing really hard into Sidra for some reason. Um, I guess we're just on the hope they don't have it uh, game plan. So anyway, they're just trying to stay alive here. Get another terraforming. Go for another gear dragon. Still fearing nothing because we have the decree, of course. Man, you know what I could use in this situation? A top deck minefield driller. I feel like that would be sweet. Uh, they go for the brain. We have the book of moon, though. Um, I'm not sure how they plan to convert off that. I guess they had a thunder dragon, maybe? I think they were playing Kai's as well, but yeah. Anyway, those were the matches with the, the Minefield Driller deck. You guys, you guys best be respected, Minefield Driller. I mean, he, would, he didn't seem so bad in a lot of these situations, you know? It's nice just having a floater you can normal summon, I think. Even if there are weird situations where you can miss timing and stuff. But yeah, I like having him. 
I like having them around. Again, like I said, maybe not three. Or maybe three. Maybe this video, Minefield Driller, was so good that I'm convinced I need to play three in KFC. You never know. You never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> anyway, that was a, a fun little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that nonsense. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.